to the GX Dad channel. In today's video, I want to go over lithium power packs. And I have this 500 watt hour lithium power pack that I've been using for the past year that I purchased on Amazon for about $350. Over the past year, I've used it for camping, running my refrigerator, and I've used it around the house. So I really got a good feel for what does it do really well and what things need to be improved on it. So I want to share that with you in this review. And also I did a little bit of testing just to validate, does it really do what it says it's supposed to do? So stick around we'll go over that in this video so let's get into the features of this watt fun 500 watt hour lithium power pack so first off it's going to have a 300 watt ac inverter this is going to be a pure sine wave inverter which is really important if you want to be running any kind of sensitive electronics a lot of electronics won't actually run on the modified sine wave inverters so pure sine wave is really good some of the other outputs it has dc it's going to be a 12 volt dc just like your car outlet it has a 10 amp it also has another set of 12 volt dc outputs at 3 amps right here these plugs and one of the problems i ran into was this dc output is not regulated meaning that the voltage comes straight from the battery which is at 11 volts fully charged not at the 12 volts this actually didn't turn out to be a problem for running what I run it for, which is the refrigerator, inflators for air mattresses, stuff like that. But it could be a big problem for more sensitive electronics that don't like the lower voltage. So something to be aware of. The newer model currently on Amazon says that they fixed this by putting in a voltage regulator, but mine was built before that and doesn't have one. Moving on to the other DC outputs, it has USB charging. You have four different USB charge ports, and then you have one USB-C power delivery rated at 45 watts. You also have a wireless charger on top rated to 10 watts that you can use for your cell phones or watches or any other devices that have wireless charging. Moving on to the, the side here, we have a fan that cycles on and off when it needs to cool off the unit, works really well. On the back here you have the charge port which you can use your solar wall or car charger to charge it and then back here you actually have a a work light that you can use for camping working on things really handy and then on the front here we have a display that has your battery percentage right there and then it has input power going in dc power going out and ac power going out so overall it's a really nice unit one of the problems I ran into on the USB charger was if I'm running the inverter and charging a phone at the same time, there seems to be some electrical noise that goes back and on my cell phone what happens is the touch screen goes completely nuts. If I turn off the AC inverter, the whole problem goes away, everything charges normally. So that is not good. You probably don't want to be using the AC inverter at the same time you're charging electronics long as you're doing those separately it'll be fine let's get into some of the testing that i did one of the things i was really curious about was does this really have the capacity that they state at 500 watt hours and to test that i ran two different tests using my refrigerator um, to be the load on this and i ran it on ac power and then ran it on dc power so what i did is i charged it up completely and then i used this power meter on ac first and this tells me how many watt hours was consumed during the test and I plugged it in and plugged this into the refrigerator to the refrigerator's AC adapter and I ran it until it died and I recorded how long it took before it died which was 28 hours and how many watt hours it consumed which was 330 watt hours so that's a lot less than the 500 watt hours but you got to remember the AC inverter itself uses power so it's never going to be the full capacity because the AC inverter is using some of the power but I'm curious how much capacity does this really use and to determine that I ran the same test on the DC um, once again using the refrigerator I didn't have a meter that I could actually measure the DC power with so what I ended up doing is measuring how long it ran and compared it to how long it ran on AC and did some um, calculation to come up with what the capacity really is so it ran 28 hours on the AC power on the DC power it ran for 44 hours which is a huge increase using some calculations and also kind of assuming different loads different amount of efficiency on the AC adapter on the refrigerator um, 
I get that the power should be the power capacity should really be between 460 watt hours and 520 watt hours. Next, I wanted to test how fast it could actually charge, which is really important when you're out on the trail. Getting it back charged up fully is really important. So this has three different ways it can be charged. And the first way is the wall charger. So when I plugged in the wall charger, it charged at 85 watts, which means that after seven hours, you'll be fully charged again, which is not too bad. The other way is a solar charger, which I took a 100 watt solar panel on a clear sunny day, put it outside, and I charged it at 88 watts, which would also give you about seven hours to fully charge this, which is really good. The final way is the car charger. So I plugged the car charger in, plugged it into the car with the car not running, and it turned out to be not able to charge. So I turned on the car with the alternator running, it was able to charge at 30 watts. So this is not really sustainable. If I charge at 30 watts, this is gonna take 18 hours to fully charge. So if your main plan is to use this on the car charger to recharge it in between uses that's probably not going to work out really well and that's a big drawback for this one right here so let's talk about the different options on the market so goal zero offers a 500 watt hour yeti 500x model which retails at 700 dollars it's going to have very similar specs 500 watt hours it's going to have a 300 watt ac inverter you're going to have your your 12 volt dc output and your usb chargers and then also the the charging methods are going to be similar i would hope that the gold zero actually has a, maybe a better car charger so you can actually use it for that another one that um, is available on the market is the jackery 500 which also has very similar specs 500 watt hours it actually has a 500 watt ac inverter which is going to be nice to get a little bit more power but i've actually found that 300 watts is more than what i need the the jackery is pretty nice that it comes in at a price point at 450 dollars which is really not that much more than this which might actually be worth um going for if it actually it doesn't have the same drawbacks that this one has with the ac interfering with the usb charging the unregulated 12 volt dc and then also the car charger so I hope this information is helpful for you. I have other useful videos on my channel, so check it out. I also have a video on how much power a 12 volt refrigerator uses, so check that out too. Let me know what you think, and thanks for supporting, and see you out on the trail.